Mission Impossible Fallout is the best film of the year so far. So let's get this started. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and normally I would say that a finished movie should stand for its own. The illusion it creates shouldn't be compromised and there shouldn't be any additional information tagged on. But there are exceptions and in case of Mission Impossible Fallout, it might have been a good idea to open the movie with a little text stating the following. The action scenes you're about to see have been accomplished by real stunt work. Please be aware that Tom Cruise did his own stunts. P.S. Yes, he's one crazy motherfucker. If you're familiar with older Jackie Chan movies, you know that they often put outtakes of the different attempts at a certain stunt, normally the most dangerous one, along the end credits. And I wouldn't have mind something similar here. Why? Because I'm convinced that you will appreciate a movie like this much more if you know that the stuff on screen is as real as it can be in a big action spectacle like this. But the problem is that we live in the year 2018 and I'm not sure if someone who is not that aware of the behind the scenes insanity of Tom Cruise has even the slightest clue that what he is seeing is somewhat real. Today you can basically do anything with CGI and honestly, who would think that one of Hollywood's most expensive actors would really jump from a plane when a green screen is so much safer and cheaper? But Tom Cruise did indeed really climb that rope. He really flew that helicopter. He really drove that motorcycle. He really jumped from that building to the next one. Breaking his ankle while doing so, by the way. And my god, he really did perform that crazy halo jump for real. So if you thought there was no way the filmmakers could top the insane free tower climbing scene from Ghost Protocol or being strapped to an airplane while it goes up in the air, well be assured that the sixth entry in the Mission Impossible series tops all of that and more. The film delivers on absolutely everything you want to see from Tom Cruise. He's running, he's fighting, he's shooting, driving the car, flying the helicopter and of course he's also hanging on a cliff. And it's not just the action part he delivers on. You can think about Tom Cruise whatever you like and I personally think that Scientology is a very dangerous scam, but as an actor he's always giving everything he got. From the first minute until the very last in this two and a half and therefore longest Mission Impossible film, he will bring you as much entertainment as he possibly can. If you look at the whole franchise, it's got to be one of the strangest one out there. The first one was released 22 years ago and up until the newest one, each was directed by a different person and quite unique in their style. And apart from Tom Cruise and Ving Rhames, there isn't another actor or actress who appeared in all films. They often added certain characters and dropped them again in the next entry without even addressing it. And Tom Cruise's character Ethan Hunt was never really that much of a fleshed out character as well. He was always more like Tom Cruise action guy which was always alright, but a bit strange nevertheless. So for the first time in the franchise's history, we get a returning director in Christopher McQuarrie, who didn't just direct, but also wrote this film and the last run, Rogue Nation. And what we got is not just a film that feels like a direct sequel, but also the best entry in the whole franchise. All important players from the last movie return, with the exception of Jeremy Renner. But you get Rebecca Ferguson, Simon Pegg, Ving Rhames and Alec Baldwin and the chemistry of the team is terrific. They also efficiently brought back Michelle Monaghan as Hunt's former wife, who played a big part in the third film. Sean Harris also returns as the former MI6 agent turned supervillain. I always appreciate it when a great, or in this case good villain, isn't killed off but brought back for another film. A minor new addition is Vanessa Kirby as White Widow, who is this important femme fatale-like figure in the crime world. But the biggest and most impressive new character is Walker, played by Henry Cavill, who I like more and more with each new film. We are finally able to see him and his movie-breaking mustache in full force and what a force he brings to the screen. He's playing a CIA agent who should bring back three missing plutonium containers in case Ethan Hunt isn't able to. And as you've seen in the trailers already, he will go head to head with him as well. And Cruz and Cavill going at each other's throat is a sight to behold. 
The story itself is your typical the world at risk scenario, but it is told with wit and so much style that it will engage you, even though you might lose some tracks in the middle part, because the back and forth, ally, enemy, betrayal and loyalty game gets really unleashed here. But never to a point where it gets too convoluted. They also succeed in adding one specific character trait to Ethan Hunt, and maybe it was there before, but never to this degree. I think at least. From the very first sequence they show him as someone who's not trading lives for the greater good, which puts him in the exact opposite position of the villain's twisted plan. Throughout the course of the movie there are several occasions where he's pushed so far that he's coming close to lose that moral compass and as the audience you will believe he maybe already has, but in the end he stays the smartest and most righteous person in the room and it doesn't come across as preachy or easy, quite the opposite. It is written and directed so well that it's very heroic and you will be engaged and rooting for him all the way. But while the story and characters are quite good and McCrary really succeeds in building on his previous film, in the end it's the action and thrill that you are here for. And Mission Impossible Fallout has tons of it. So much so that you're basically on the edge of your seat for the entire time. And yet it doesn't get repetitive or numbing, because there's such a variety to the set pieces, they are all incorporated in the overall story, and most importantly the film has so much style and such a punch to it, that you will really feel it in your stomach. One of my biggest complaints with modern action movies is the lack of real weight, most of it feels too light and fake, or it's shot and edited in a fashion that overemphasizes the visual nature of it, which then only results in the viewer being confused about what's actually happening. Here you really feel every punch, shot, crash and fall and the film only ever stops for a few times. McCrary knows how to stage the action and he also knows when it's time to use music and when it's time to let just the sound effects fill the cinema. There's a sequence in here that has absolutely no sound effects but just music and it's almost operatic. The action is incredible and a normal human being wouldn't be able to survive even half of it, but it's shot in a way that it's believable in an action movie kind of way and it's much more diehard than it is Fast and the Furious. It has been uh, compared to films like The Dark Knight and Mad Max Fury Road and I think that's an absolute legit comparison. I was literally sweating from excitement while watching the movie. And on top of all of that there's some humor too that's coming from the characters as well as from the genre we are dealing with and the franchise and its own unique trademarks. For example the rubber masks that will transform one person into another or the diffusing bomb scenario and the ticking clock that goes along with it. From start to finish Mission Impossible Fallout is a spectacularly entertaining fast paced action thrill with high stakes engaging characters and a Tom Cruise that's both larger than life and a vulnerable hero that's fun to cheer for. So in German I'd say Mission Impossible Fallout is ein absolutes action Feuerwerk, das großartig inszeniert, toll gespielt und spannend und mitreißend von der ersten bis zur letzten Minute ist. I give Mission Impossible Fallout 9 out of 10. It's more like 9.1, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always, comment below and let me know what you think about Mission Impossible Fallout. And also let me know what is your favorite Tom Cruise film. The next review will be coming on Wednesday and it will be Incredibles 2. And then on Friday we will talk about another Indian movie which was absolutely incredible, Magadira from SS Rajamuli. Until then you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.